Hi everybody, it's Nathan here. Thanks for taking a look at this video today. Pardon me a second, I'm trying to put my glove back on. All right. Thanks for taking a look. I always welcome your comments and suggestions. Please subscribe if you like my videos that I do of cars and uh, please leave any comments. I like to see and read and respond to your uh, comments. This is a 2008 Range Rover, Land Rover, Range Rover. This is a sport model with the slope back end. Right there it says so, Sport HSE, uh, beige interior, 19 inch wheels. Very, very, very nice for a 2008. Uh, good history, a lot of dealer service on this uh, clean history clean carfax clean history report um, it runs well it drives nicely it's a little little dirty here but it is in very nice overall shape the air suspension works i will demonstrate that here to you in a moment Uh, tire size right there, 255, 50, 19. Um, all the wheels are in good shape, a little bit of curb rash on them. Um, body and paint are very, very nice. Uh, it has parking sensors, that's what these are. So I'll show you. On the inside, uh, it has parking sensors, parking beepers uh, for when you get close to objects. Uh, note the weather guard rain gutters here. Um, also, the front windows are lightly tinted to match the back. The rear hatch on these is pretty cool. So you can squeeze here to open just this part, like that. Or, with this shut, push the button, lift up, and the whole tailgate opens like that. So, there's some jumper cables and a couple things back here, and a, a Volvo branded uh, rubber floor mat, but it comes with it, as does uh, a couple of trailer hitch balls. Uh, the cargo shade is here. It goes like that to cover your belongings. I'm going to start back here for a reason. Um, so rubber WeatherTech floor mats, this rear one covers the entire rear floor and actually the original Land Rover branded rubber mat is underneath that, those, that one, which the original ones are two separate pieces and then the WeatherTech one is a full length deal. Uh, back seat and leather is very nice. The backs of the seats are very nice. The headliner is actually in good shape for the age. Uh, a few little pockets back here and a little bit in the front. Uh, the reason I started back here is, as weird as it is, uh, hard to open my gloves on. Uh, it does have rear heated seats, that's what these are, and an outlet back here, but the aux input is back here. This is where Land Rover puts it on the Range Rovers and the LR series cars. So, I just wanted to show that because it's an option on the stereo in the front. Buckingham Blue is the name of this color. I don't know if I already said that or not. Buckingham Blue, I assume like the Buckingham Palace in England, so you can feel like the queen when you're driving this. Uh, driver's side seat is a little dirty, but the leather's in very nice shape. Just some normal uh, check marks here. Armrests are in good shape. Um, 
the uh, fabric on these A-pillar pieces here is coming loose a little bit on both sides. Doesn't affect anything, but it is. Uh, these could be recovered in the upholstery shop. No big deal. Uh, steering wheel leather is in great shape. I love Land Rover steering wheels. Really thick and fat. I love, love the feeling of a Land Rover steering wheel. Um, automatic headlights. There are some cracks in the dash. You can see the little ones here and here and there. And this, you know, looks like... Uh, oh, has the airbag been out of there? No, it has not. This has not been wrecked. That's just, that's the cracking. That's the normal split lines where it would split when the airbag is going to come out, but it hasn't actually come out. It's just age from sun and heat um, that has caused these cracked lines in the dash. It's just cosmetic. It is what it is. There's the exact mileage, 149, 437. Runs great, no lights on, no, no check engine lights, nothing like that. Um, sounds good. Uh, climate control, heated seats in the front on both sides here. Uh, original radio. Uh, so when you push the aux here, Satellite radio is uh, available, and then when you push the aux again, you get aux, which is the the spot, the thing back there with the aux input. So that's why I wanted to show that first. Um, navigation right there, uh, on or off road uh, in the menu, four wheel drive info. This doesn't respond with the gloves as well as your finger. Uh, it's kind of neat, like see I'm turning the steering wheel and it shows the wheels turning, shows you which drive mode you're in, shows the suspension, what height the suspension is at. So here with this dial, you push this, it raises up and you can change the selection here. I'm going to change it while I show you up here. The first one is uh, grass, gravel. The second one is mud. The last one is, sorry, the second to last is sand and the last one is rock crawl which you have to be in low range four wheel drive to activate so there's five different terrain response programs which are there so kind of neat um, this is the air suspension button for uh, access height is all the way at the bottom which is really low like when your grandmother's going to get in you know you want to lower it down or if you're going to load heavy bags of mulch in the back the line is the mid, which is like the norm driving position. The upper is called uh, um, off-road height, I think is what they call it. But anyway, that's all the way up. So there's three positions. This is the four-wheel drive high and low. And then this is uh, hill descent control, which can only be used in low range. I will not be demonstrating that, but if uh, you're interested, it's, 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 it's a neat, it's a neat off-road driving uh, function so I will demonstrate the four-wheel drive uh, and the uh, air suspension here in a moment uh, this is a cooler this was a factory option you can put four you can fit this the switch turns it on or off when the lights on it's on and it's chilling that box you can fit four cans of coke or diet coke or whatever you can fit four cans of soda in there or beer and uh, it will fit and it will cool it or you can put your lunch in there so yep very neat um, let me show the rest let's see we saw this side in the back uh, let's look at the engine sorry I'm trying to cover everything here we'll look at the other side and then we'll demonstrate the uh, air suspension uh, these hood hood uh, things are a bit worn out so uh, it falls down pretty easily. Those really need replaced. If you want the hood to stay up on its own. I'm going to stop talking here for a few seconds so you can listen to the engine. There's the bottom of the hood. 
Uh, here's the color name, Buckingham Blue. <clears throat> so here's the other rear. These seats fold down, of course, with these handles. Passenger seat is in really nice shape. You can see the, the cracks here a little bit better. Not a big deal. Two glove boxes, an upper and a lower. Oh, I forgot to point out when we were on the driver's side, uh, Harman Kardon sound system. <clears throat> All right, so right now the suspension is at normal height. So there is how it looks, okay? So I'm going to put this window down because it will only move if the doors are closed. So when I push here, it says access height selected. And then when the door shuts, you can see it go down. See it, see it, see it. Yep, yep. So that, and then you just heard the chime. So that's the access height. That's all the way down. This is the setting that I said for grandmother to get in because it's much lower to the ground. So grandma can hop in much easier. Or in my case, my 80 year old aunt would do a lot better. Um, we're gonna select normal height and go back up. So here we go, you can hear the compressor. The rear raises first, followed by the front. It is not abnormal for the compressor to run after it has reached its position, especially when it's this cold. So there's normal. Now we'll take it up to the higher level. Uh, uh, Off-road height selected, that's what they call it. So there we go, going up again, up again. Look at the difference. It always makes me laugh because it's like a whole different vehicle. Look at the difference between the uh from the bottom where we started at access height for grandma to the top <laughs> right so i think that pretty much covers it uh, i'll make a separate video here of me driving this um, to show how it drives and um to show how it drives and to demonstrate the four wheel drive. So take a look at the other video on my channel here for that. And I think that's everything for this one. The compressor is still running. It will turn off. It works as it should. It'll turn off here when it comes, when you ask for it, this off-road height and it has to pump it way up high like this, it runs a bit longer, so but it will turn off. It works like it should. Um, waiting a second to see if it'll turn off before I stop the video. But thanks for watching. Appreciate your subscriptions and your comments. This is a nice Range Rover. Oh, see, it just turned off. <laughs> this is a nice Range Rover for the money. Definitely, uh, definitely a lot of vehicle for the money. So uh, thanks again. Bye-bye. I think I'm going to have to take my glove off to...